Hey, Jan Scott with you here on a Monday morning with another rant about marijuana. Oh, yeah. Did you see um, last night on uh, 60 Minutes on, oh, no, it was Dateline. I take that back. It was NBC Dateline where they're talking about the Chinese are importing <clears throat> these analog drugs. They take stuff that looks like marijuana and they add chemical additives to it. And then they send it all over the United States to all the pot shops and head shops here in Boulder and Denver and then they sell this stuff to the kids and they don't know what it is because there's no balance on it there's no measures there's no anything and then the kids take it and they die from it they overdose and die the so Dateline did this story and I posted something up on Facebook about it <clears throat> yesterday with some uh, parts of the story and people wrote back in and said you are disgusting that is hate you are ignorant all the dopers, you know, boulders loaded with dopers. They take dope, and it really makes their it makes Tom it makes their head like cool, they're, I makes think their. They're, they're, I think they're high when they say that. Yeah, they they are very high when they say it. So I sent this to the district attorney, and I said, Stan Garnett, shame on you for allowing these drugs to be sold in our city, Boulder Police Department. Shame on you for these allowing these drugs to be sold in our city. Joe Pelle, Sheriff, shame, shame, shame on your entire department. Do you know that not only is Boulder allowing these analog drugs from China to be sold all over the place, they have actually allowed drugs to be sold in the city. We have open drug stores. There are marijuana stores in Boulder selling marijuana to children. I'm serious about this. I've been talking about this for 20 years. We have a drug epidemic in Boulder. We have an alcohol epidemic. Parents, I talk to parents, they call me and they go, Jesus Christ, what are these officials thinking? All of our high school kids and junior high kids are getting dope everywhere. I talk to the people at the schools and they go, oh my God, we, you know, we're trying to fight it, but we can't because there's so much peer pressure from all these pot stores and drug stores. They've opened them everywhere. Parents are really upset. Parents, you think parents are happy? Oh, we're so glad they've opened up all these dope stores in Boulder so our kids can get started young. And then the dopers write in and say, there's no evidence that marijuana is a gateway drug, except that there's all the evidence in the world that these people are such drug addicts. You know how drug addicts are. Drug addicts are. No, it's not. There's no problem. But they're like drug addicts are like alcoholics. There's no problem. There's no, nope, there's, everything's good. Except everything's not good. Boulder, America. We have a big problem on our hands. So here's my solution. Let's get the DEA to come to Boulder, throw the district attorney and his entire staff in jail, take him out in handcuffs. Oh, oh I'm the DA, you kid. Take the chief of police to jail and arrest all the cops. Throw them all in fucking jail. Arrest the sheriffs and all the deputies. Take them and throw them in jail. Then, take the entire city council, arrest them, throw them in jail. The city staff, every single one of them, throw them in jail. Then, bust all the drug stores and throw all the owners in jail. Let's open up a special boulder prison for all the people pushing dope on children. And then charge the living shit out of them with everything. How about citizen's arrest? What if I just went in to the DA's office and said, Stan, you're under arrest. <laughs> He'd call the police, Stan Scott's here bothering me. <laughs> Let's arrest them, all of them, throw them all in jail. Hey, wait till Donald Trump gets to be president. <laughs> he's, fucking, he's coming to Boulder. He's gonna burn the city. <laughs> this is so much fun. You know what else we could do for all those people that allow dope to be sold in our cities? We could waterboard them. Tie, you ever been waterboarded, Tom? Tie them down, waterboard them. Uh, uh. <coughs> Jan Scott, talk show host. Hey.